on February 3rd of this year, I started a YouTube channel about Minecraft gaming, primarily for people who don't know how to play the game and for people with disabilities or other issues that make playing the game difficult for them. This weekend, there was a Mindcrack marathon for Kurt J. Max Farlands or Bus Charity Fundraiser for Child's Play Charity. Notch and Dinner Bones showed up on the Minecraft server, and I just watched a video with Biffa 2001. Avidia Zen invited him to come play Seth Bling's building game with Notch and Dinner Bone. You know, I've been working hard all day today getting things ready for winter and trying to make things snug because it gets really cold in here and it's kind of scary in the winter. And I was very tired and I haven't watched videos all day and I came in and I lay down with my laptop on my tummy and I watched um, Biffa's utter surprise at being able to play that game and I guess I went outside later to walk my dog and it suddenly occurred to me that, you know, I speak with Biffa regularly and I speak with a video zen occasionally and suddenly it occurred to me that I am one degree of separation from notch and dinner bone and that this is important because it's possible that maybe by this time next year I might be able to actually approach them about making the game more disability accessible you see Minecraft is a completely unique form of game. There's no particular storyline. Everybody doesn't have the same memories and experiences in the game. It's all very different depending on who you are and how you play and what choices you make and it's a lot more like real life. And then you add on the elements of the fact that it's being used in museums and classrooms and even universities to teach things like food production and physics and chemistry and mathematics and science and art and history and <sighs> it's a very unique and special game with too many zombies and I immediately saw the potential of this game to help kids learn how to do things that they couldn't have experienced otherwise and to begin thinking in ways they may not have been able to think without being exposed to the ideas and decision making and the creativity and the logic of the game, redstone to tactics on how not to get shot by a skeleton, things like that, tactics, patience, that working diligently you will find diamonds, discipline, if you go buy your crops every day and farm them you will have plenty of everything, taking care of oneself, repairing one's armor, making sure one has the proper tools. This game teaches a lot of stuff um, and I knew right away that this wasn't just a sitting around goofing around kind of game but that this could really change people and apparently people have resonated with that I mean I believe it's the second most highly sold game in the world right now they've just partnered with Google apparently for QCraft which is quantum physics preparing kids to understand quantum computing because that will be the next phase of computers so with no money in poor health scared a lot when I play, not able to see well, startled frequently, not much physical coordination, a laptop that overheats so I can only play about 20 minutes, freeware bandy cam so I can only record for 10 minutes, a free audio recording software which is awesome, but I always have to record overdub in post-production because I can't play and commentate at the same time because there will be a feedback loop because Bandicam has a pretty bad audio recording program. Probably intentionally. It would probably be better if I paid for Bandicam, but I can't afford to do that. Poor internet connection. No background in gaming except here and there. I didn't grow up with gaming. The first game was Pong and that was in 1976 when I graduated high school. I've been really diligent and I've worked really hard on this channel and I've had some very bad disappointments from very famous YouTubers who did some really nasty stuff to me. I've got over 200 subscribers and about 40 regular viewers, maybe, by this time next year. 
I'll have some way to communicate to Dinnerbone and maybe not ways to make the game more accessible to people with disabilities. It could happen. I'm one degree of separation away from Notch and Dinnerbone.